Hey everybody, Abolitionist Jay here with today's vlog. It is about 9 p.m. now, Jesus, 9 p.m. on, I think it's the 14th now, Jeez, should probably look at these things before I start, the, yeah, it's the 14th. <laughs> it is uh, June 14th, 2018, like I said, it's about 9 p.m. and I have been quite busy since uh, since I last th talked to you folks. I actually meant to make a video earlier, I was going to do it on my phone and possibly turn that one into the vlog because... I had a lot to say by 9 a.m. this morning, um, and all, all pretty, all good. So uh, I definitely wanted to share, but then I just got so busy with other things that, uh, yeah, I just had a chance now to actually record. So since I got since I left you guys last, um, I uh, oh geez, when did I record that one? I think that was yesterday morning. So I think I said I was going to try to see the kids later on. So uh, yeah, the. Um, I, I did get to see the kids finally, and uh, which we'll go. We went out to dinner, and uh, at, at first the wife was going to leave us and go food shopping, and then I convinced her to stay. And you know, things are uh, things are getting better between the two of us. We're we're smoothing out our, our issues that we've had because of this whole you know the trip and everything that they took. Because um, we got to get ready for our trip next week uh, that we're supposed to go on to uh, the Midwest Peace Liberty Fest. So we went out to dinner, and that was nice. And then we hung out for a little bit, and then uh, you know they they went they went home so they could uh, you know she could get them uh, get them ready for bed and whatnot. And I went off to go find where we were going to sleep for the night, and I actually found a, a new location that uh, seemed pretty uh, safe. It was most likely going to be a little noisy, but that never bothers me because well I've lived next to an extremely noisy road, uh, well two of them now over the past twelve years. Um, so I'm quite used to the constant traffic and, uh, you know, that doesn't keep me awake. And I actually parked there, you know, pretty early and was planning on just hanging out and taking care of some things, uh, doing some reading and whatnot and actually put up all the window shades. And I think it was, that was like 9 PM. I was, I was ready with that. And, uh, I was, and then I, I set out to take murder dog for a walk because she had been uh, cooped up a lot of the day, you know, obviously we went out to dinner and stuff like that. Uh, she had to be cooped up in the car. It was luckily it was a cool night, so just having the windows cracked and the you know the uh, the, vent, the vented windows open, uh, she was good to go. Uh, you know her little fan in the back. She was plenty cool back here, so that was that 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 was good. So you know her and I set off to, get, to go take a walk, and about at, you know roughly about halfway through what I maybe well actually maybe maybe even with only a third of the way through what I thought we were going to do because I, I plan on taking her for a nice long walk and then settling down for a while and you know like I said taking care of some, uh, some things. Uh, we got a, uh, a, a, a panic stricken, uh, text message or telegram message from the wife asking if I knew where my one daughter's favorite toy was, uh, if I had seen it. And, uh, unfortunately I did because I know and my daughter, I knew that my daughter brought it into the restaurant and I'd even remarked on it at one point because she spilled applesauce on herself. And I said, it was a good thing she didn't drop it on her toy. Uh, and then, uh, I immediately said, well, yeah, I did see it. If you don't have it, that means it's still there, or at least it was, and you know she called she called the restaurant that we went to and uh, they did tell her that they had it and without even getting back to me she just decided to throw the kids in the car and drive over there which I you know I was like well that's just silly I'm closer by already you know where I ended up parking and uh, it makes more sense for me to go in there than for you to drag the kids in their pajamas and stuff um, but anyway uh, I ended up getting there before them obviously because I was much closer and then uh, you know which was ended up working out because they took a while to get it out for the back anyway um, and they you know they thought they were being cute and they presented it in one of those like you know one of the carry out trays and stuff uh, but you know so that made the, that made the, that made, made my daughter happy obviously she had her favorite toy for the night so she could sleep with it and so then I because I had come uh, a little further north from where I planned on parking I decided to test out uh, an, an, uh, another spot a little further uh, south from the restaurant, but a little from, further north from where I had been, and uh, that ended up working out really well. Um, not only did was I able to park for the night and in a spot where I got almost perfect Wi-Fi wi signal the entire time, uh, you know, and you know wasn't bothered because it's a place where a couple of things are at least one thing in the uh, in the area is open 24 hours a day. So, you know, obviously there's cars there all the time, so not a big deal. And when I awoke this morning, uh, about, you know, I think it was like quarter after seven, 
I woke to find, uh, well, no, I, I woke and Murder Dog was still sleeping, so I decided to walk down to the uh, Dunkin' Donuts, which I'm normally not a fan of like, Dunkin' Donuts coffee, but it was the closest thing, and I figured, whatever, I'll, I'll just go get some of that, uh, just because I wanted coffee that more. You know, I don't, I don't drink coffee that much anymore while I'm out here. I used to be a, a regular coffee drinker, but now that I, I'm out here, it's just, uh, you know, I don't want to spend the money on it, and I also, you know, I'm not going to bring anything, I don't want to carry anything extra to make it on a regular basis, so, you know, every once in a while. Anyway... On my way back, uh, I noticed that there was another vehicle parked a couple spots down from mine that had a lot of interesting things, like like kayaks and different like uh, uh, pro- what looked like pro- prospecting tools uh, on the top of their vehicle, and their the windows in the back were completely blacked out and everything. And uh, I I kind of just thought to myself, well, that's interesting. Like you know, could it possibly be somebody else like using their vehicle as a home, like me? Nah, that, like, what are the chances? And so I got back to the car and was about to take Murder Dog out when this little old guy, I don't know, probably somewhere, you know, uh, you know, not, not super old, I don't know, maybe uh, early 70s or so, uh, maybe late 70s, um, but uh, comes, wa- comes, comes wandering towards me uh, or wandering towards that vehicle and looks at me as I'm about to open the door to mine and, sa- uh, you know, remarks, oh, is, is that yours? And I said, well, yeah, you know, yeah. And he said, you're uh you're living out of that thing, aren't you? And uh, I was like, I right away, I was like, really? I'm like, that you, this can't be happening. And sure enough, he's like, I'm like, I'm, you know, I asked him how how he knew, and he just said, well, like I could just tell with the setup you had there, and uh, I kind of do the same thing. And turns out this guy, uh, I think Stefan was his name, I believe. Uh, turns out he's been living out of his uh, Jeep Cherokee for a couple of years, like two years now, and traveling all over the country and stuff, and tends to hang out here a lot because this is where he's from originally. And so it was, it was great because we ended up getting into like, we hung out for about an hour or so, just, bull, just bullshitting. And then a couple of local homeless people that he apparently knew, like, you know, people who weren't as lucky as us to have vehicles to live out of, uh, wandered up that, you know, he apparently knew them too. And, uh, they started talking and introduced, you know, he introduced me to them and, uh, we actually had a great time for a while. We, you know, sharing stories, me, me and this guy sharing stories about, about doing this and, uh, you know, t- he, him telling me what he's been through. And, uh, he was actually really excited about a lot of the, the supplies I had with me. Like he was really interested in my electric cooler, which I've talked about before. I'm not currently using, I have it in the vehicle. It's just, I haven't turned it on in a while cause I haven't bothered to keep anything cold with me. Um, I'm going to save that for when I actually have to, when I'm traveling, you know, long distances, uh, like, you know, for instance, next week for the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest. Um, he was, he was a really big fan of, uh, my, my blackout shades, uh, even though I had to tell him that the uh, suction cups can be a pain in the ass, as I've remarked on before that they, they work great, but the uh, suction cups are a bitch sometimes. Uh, they just don't want to stick no matter what you do. Uh, t- and takes like, you know, 10 tries, but anyway, he was, uh, you know, so we talked about all that stuff and, uh, I, I, I told him, you know, he said he kind of hangs out in that area or will be at least for the uh, foreseeable future. So we're, pr- I'm probably going to run into him again. I gave him my number, you know, he, you know, he, and, um, he was all about all the different YouTube channels of the people who do in the, like the RV life, the school bus, the school bus conversion stuff, um, and different types of stuff like this. Uh, he didn't actually mention Vanu and, and I try, I, 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 I let him know about the Vanu podcast and stuff and that's and how I got my start in this. Um, and he was really interested in all that stuff. And, uh, I'm actually hoping to be able to sit down with him and, uh, you know, I didn't want to ask him the first time I met him, but I, I, I did let him know what I do. Like I'm a podcaster and then I've also been doing this daily vlog, uh, as I've been out here on the road and I want to ask him if he'll sit down with me. And, uh, so hopefully I'll be able to do, uh, an interview with him. Um, which would be really cool because like, like I said, he literally, like we just literally stumbled upon each other this morning. Uh, you know, and, uh, like I said, turns out he's been doing this for a couple of years and, uh, should definitely be interested to pick his brain and, uh, see what he's up to. Uh, it's funny, you know, I, I, I made some comments about, uh, anarchists and libertarians a couple of times and he, he kind of just looked at me a little puzzlingly, but he was very anti-government. <laughs> he talked, uh, he, he complained about the government pretty much all the time and, you know, how they're stealing from you and all this stuff. So I'm like, all right, we're, uh, you and I, we're going to be friends, but, uh, like I said, older guy, but in doing it a couple of years and seems really happy with it. So it's really exciting. And, uh, so that's how I started my day and that, you know, we ended up parting ways around eight thirty nine o'clock. Cause he said he, uh, unfortunately had a wake he had to get to that day. Um, but, uh, you know, he'd be in touch and, you know, we might actually run into each other again tomorrow morning. We'll see. Um, cause I plan on going back to the same spot and I, I think he said he was headed back that way too. So hopefully we'll, uh, we'll meet up again. We'll talk some more. So after we parted ways, um, he ended up, uh, 
I ended up uh, hanging out where I was and uh, talking to the wife for a while on the phone, which was good. We, you know, like I said, stuff like that was needed, and uh, we uh, we started making lots of head roads <laughs> or whatever the you know in in roads rather. And uh, oh, hold on one second. Excuse me. Uh, so yeah, we uh, what should we call it? So so that was good, and then um, I ended up going to I ended up going to Planet Fitness since I was close by and took a shower. Which, uh, you know, since I got that membership yesterday, I figured I was close by, might as well make use of it. And then I set off to go see the wife and kids, and uh, I went to the local dog, uh, one of the local dog parks, the, actually the one that Murder Dog and I had gone to yesterday morning, and hung out there with the kids. I got there, it was just Murder Dog and I. One other dog showed up about five, ten minutes later. The kids and the wife got there ten minutes after that. And uh, then all of a sudden, just an explosion of dogs in the middle of the day, uh, uh, you know, during the week. It seemed a little interesting that so many people were there with their dogs at that that time. But, you know, uh, you know, and uh, so that was good. So, I mean, Murder Dog really wasn't into playing today, but uh, at least you got a bunch of exercise and we got to hang out there. And the kids, of course, are always, you know, happy to hang out with a bunch of dogs. And then we went over to the local park, which was the dog park was in, and uh, I I hung out in the park and played with the kids for a while while uh, the wife was nice enough to sit with Murder Dog. Uh, because it was a little warmer than it's been lately. And, uh, you know, I didn't really want to leave the car running in that parking lot where we were going to be that far away from the vehicle. So, you know, she offered to sit with the dog and then ended up taking her out and walk, we walked around with her. You know, then we got some ice cream for the kids because, uh, you know, they, they kept asking for it. And it was just, you know, after everything had been through, it was just like, all right, yep, you know what, let's go, let's go get that. And then, then unfortunately, we had back to back doctor's appointments for, uh, for one of my, for my kids. And we just had to, we had to race from one to the other because one they you know they took them in they took they saw them a little late and then the the appointment took forever and then we had to go you know what normally could be a 15 or maybe a 20 minute drive from where we were uh turned into a much longer one because it was in the middle of rush hour so you know we had to fight traffic to get there um but uh i'm actually still in that location because uh you know we went through those and everything's fine it was just you know uh checkup stuff and whatnot and uh we, uh, you know, then uh, obviously they, they, you know, we said goodnight and they, they went home so they could get, you know, get ready for bed and whatnot. I actually think we still need to eat dinner because we had, we had, they, they had their ice cream and then, then we didn't really have a late, anything else after that. So yeah, they probably had to go, they went home, they had to go home and eat something quick and then uh, probably get ready for bed. And I stayed here because I had a pretty good internet connection and I was scheduled to be on Anthony Samaroff's live stream tonight. Anthony Samaroff from the Scottish Liberty Podcast. I've mentioned him a bunch of times before, especially because I just had him on my show, Apple's Just Abstractions, last week. And he uh, he was doing a live stream tonight where he was shaving his head. And, uh, if you don't know anything about Anthony, he had uh, you know pretty pretty long hair that he, you know long curly hair, uh, starting to go bald on top. But uh, he uh, apparently got disgusted with himself when he realized when he saw the back of his head one day which he never really looked at and realized that there was a spot growing back there and uh that just made he he decided that he was going to not only shave all of his hair off but he was going to do it on a live stream and and invite a bunch of other podcasters who he has gotten to know over the past year or so uh all together on a google hangout to what to to participate in the you know have you know just banter back and forth and whatnot and I had told him originally, you know, when he when he asked me if I wanted to do it, I said absolutely. Uh, you know, I think I could work out the times, and uh, the only thing would be, you know, I just as you know, as long as I can get a good Wi-Fi connection, we should be good. And I I was hoping to be able to show up for most of it because it was a it was scheduled for two hours, but there was no you know set. It was basically we'll we'll try to go at least two hours, and if we're having a really great time, we'll go even further. So. By the time the the girls and and the wife cleared out of here, it was already an hour into what the live or more than an hour of the what the, the live stream had started. Uh, but they had also had some technical difficulties, so I figured, all right, I still I still have enough time, and I had already tested everything out with the uh, you know with the laptops and whatnot, and uh, Windows had updated itself yesterday, which which screwed me up when I was trying to do something yesterday. So I figured, all right, that got out of the way. So all I'll have to do is go into my car. Turn on both laptops, see which one, whether the one I use normally, which I've had the problems since the Windows update where I have to reboot, like where I have to start it, uh, mess with the mess with the camera and then reboot it and then have it work. And even then it doesn't work on all programs. Uh, more on that. I've talked about that before, but that plays into tonight's story, too. And uh, turn on the smaller one that I have that I now have the external camera for, which seemed to work just fine for Skype. So I figured, oh, it should work perfectly fine for Google Hangouts. Well, I did that and messed around with it for 
I don't know, felt like forever, but it definitely was like, you know, ha- more than half an hour because unfortunately, no matter what I did, every time I, you know, set everything up and I made sure the camera was working on both of them, uh, the, whenever I clicked the link for the Google Hangout, instead of taking me to the Hangout itself, it would take me to the getting started page for, for Google Hangouts. And because it was, I was rushing to try to get on there and I, you know, I was frustrated because I, you know, I, I said I'd be there, you know, I tried to be there the whole time. And then I told them a little earlier today that I did, I ended up, you know, having to go to these appointments with my kids, uh, or actually I didn't have to, I chose to, um, I, I, I wanted to be there cause I've missed a lot of them, unfortunately, over the years with work and whatnot and, um, and other things, but the, uh, so I, I, you know, I, I, and I said I was going to be late, but now I was even much later and I was, I was, you know, freaking out thinking I wasn't going to be able to make it at all. And I even remarked, I, you know, in the group chat and then I went onto the YouTube version where, you know, where everybody else was watching the live stream and uh, mentioned that there, that I, I wasn't ditching them. I was, I was really trying to do, I even tried to get it working on my phone and no matter what I did, I kept running into the same problem. And because I was rushing so much. I, I tried changing a whole bunch of things without taking into account that it could just be like, you know, a browser issue. Um, and that's actually what it ended up being because I ended up flipping over to Chrome and all of a sudden it worked right away. And I was like, well, I could have saved myself a whole bunch of time. Anyway, I did make it to the live stream and I, I got to hang out for the last hour, half hour, 45 minutes or so. And uh, it was I had a lot of fun while I was there. Um, you know, I, I've, I've talked before. I'm a big fan of Anthony's. I, I think, he's, you know, he's a great guy and uh, I think he's pretty funny. And his, his co-host from the Scottish Liberty podcast, who I don't know that much. You know, I've listened to a few of their shows, but I obviously, you know, I obviously have talked to Anthony a lot more. I've, I've interviewed him on two different shows of mine. And we've had, you know, pretty lengthy conversations there. Um, so, yeah, uh, it, you know, they're great. And then uh, my, my my buddy from the Yankat Barbershop, Scott, uh, Scott uh, Luffy, Jesus, um, was there. Um, and uh, a couple other people who I really didn't know, but, it, you know, it was a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, we had, a great, we had a great time. Really wish I had been able to be there earlier. But, you know. Whatever, <laughs> like I said, my my own my own tech uh, my my computer illiteracy uh, strikes again. You know my technological difficulties. Well, you know what are you gonna do? Anyway, so yeah, it was uh it was a jam packed day, and now you know now we're gonna murder dog and I will slowly make our way back over to uh, to where we're gonna set up for the night, I guess. And I was gonna try to do a. Uh, which I'm gonna call it. I, I, you know, my my show abolition of distractions usually comes out today. Last week I put it. You know, I've I've been pretty good about putting it out on Thursdays. Uh, yes, uh, yesterday I unfortunately uh, last week I I got didn't get around to doing it till Friday. Um, but just with everything, I I don't think I'm actually gonna be able to record one of those. So for those of you who uh, usually listen to the show and also watch these, um, there's probably not gonna be a show this week. Um, uh, because actually now and now that I'm saying this, I realized why you know. You know, I was about to say it was a really jam-packed day, and I realized I actually left some things out because <laughs> I totally forgot for a moment uh, that this morning, after I had that wonderful conversation with uh, Stefan and his two other friends, who unfortunately I forget their names at this time, but they uh, after I left them, I ended up seeing that there was an email earlier that morning from Michael W. Dean. Uh, ask it, you know, or there would have been an email the day before asking if uh, anybody wanted to do a Freedom Fiend show, and. Then he had he had met, he had messaged me directly and you know asked if I was around and I said, or no that's what it was I sent him an, I sent him an email last night and he read it this morning um, and he, he emailed me like you know sometime during our conversation I was at the conversation I was having so when I was done I looked at it I said oh you know it was only less than an hour ago so I I got back in touch with him and said I I could probably do a show right now. And uh, we did. We ended up recording a Freedom Fiends episode because, again, I ended up having uh, good enough Wi-Fi that uh, I didn't even have. We didn't even have any dropouts or anything on Fiend Phone, which can be uh, which can be difficult sometimes. Uh, Fiend Phone is the uh, the VoIP service that we use to do the Freedom Fiends. Uh, Michael Double Dean, Dean helped Derek Slopey, the uh, the Fiends tech guy, uh, create it a couple of years ago as a way to stop using like Skype and all the other services. And it actually, you know, as long as you have uh, decent or better equipment, like you know the the mic and headphones I have, uh, you uh, as long as you have stuff like that, it the sound quality is much superior, you know, much more superior than uh, pretty much any other software I've come across. Unless you're talking like high end stuff, you got to pay a lot of money for. Um, but as far as free software goes, it's amazing. Uh, uh, yeah, fiendphone.com. Uh, I'll put that. I'll put a. I'll put a link to that in the show notes uh, for anybody who does any type of podcasting or stuff like that. You may want to consider switching over to it if you just do audio. Anyway, so yeah, so we. I, I did that too. 
I also attempted to pay off my pay off the element actually today because that's one of the things that was uh, that had been being held off. It's in, you know with the sale of the house, every you know as that got held off longer and longer, I was you know I was waiting and waiting and waiting to be able to pay off my you know because that was one of the things I wanted to do as soon as the sale the sale was complete and I had the money was finally pay off the vehicle. So that's you know one less thing I have to do, worry about, and uh, that could actually be mine, and. You know, I found out that unfortunately, like I, I, I could have paid today, but the, uh, you know, my, my, my payment was technically due a month, uh, last week or something like that, or a little over a week ago. And I, I actually hadn't made a payment in a while, but apparently because of the automatic payments that have been taken out of my bank account for so long, I had actually ended up way ahead. So I had like months and months and months where I didn't know that, where I didn't owe any money. So it wasn't an issue where that was the one thing I didn't have to deal with, thankfully, during the whole mess with the, 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 the the delay in the sale of the house and I uh, so I tried to take care of that last week and then I was told that you know the the best way for them was for me to just write a check and send it in with the amount which you know I'd have to hit up the wife for that since I don't have an account in, a bank account anymore and you know my money's in her account anyway so they unfortunately once they left for the trip I obviously couldn't do it until she got back but when I talked to the people at the at the uh at the, where I have the loan with they said oh yeah you know you you have this 10 day grease period so if you're going to contact us early next week it shouldn't be a problem well because when they got back I would you know things still didn't go very well for the first day and a half um I kind of forgot to take care of that and so when I called today it was a matter of well technically tomorrow that 10 day grace period runs out and so mailing a check not going to work, um, and they would take payment on a you know credit, debit or credit card, but they can only take up to a certain amount of money, and I owe more than that. But you know, so I did it that way just so technically I'm paid off for a while now, so I could wait, but I'm not because as early as tomorrow I actually can go back and find out because they kept telling me a check was the only way, and then finally they're like, oh no, you can pay it off, you just have to do it in, in pieces because we can only accept so much at a time that way, and I was like. Oh, well, if you told me that in the first place, I would have had this done last week. Anyway, so yeah, that should be taken care of tomorrow, most likely. And then once I get the, uh, you know, then once the tight, once my tight, my title, my papers finally come to me, then the, you know, then I can say, then I'll be, then I'll be happier. And, you know, the element will officially be mine. Uh, so that's, that was good news. Um, then I, I the more, unfortunately, bad news happened because, well, government got in the way again. Uh, I did go one one of the other things I did uh, you know, among this super busy day was in between the two doctor's appointments or actually yeah well before the first uh, doctor's appointment I, I met them I met it I met the the wife and kids at the first one because when we left the uh, when we left uh, where we had the ice cream and stuff today I said that I had to stop by the uh, post office in Levittown where I used to live to uh, pick up my mail because I had gone in there last week and put a hold on my mail because I realized that stuff was going to keep getting delivered to the old address um, because I never put a forwarding address anyway because I had been contemplating doing that because I there was mo- most of the stuff that I knew I was going to get in the mail I really didn't want to deal with because um, a lot of it was junk mail and other uh, other it was just harassment letters from companies that I, I'm dealing with in other in other av- in uh, other ways at the moment so just getting the constant BS uh, uh, computer generated. Uh, you know, snail mail letters that come out and all that stuff. Yeah, I really didn't, uh, I didn't really want to do that. Um, so I didn't get around to d- doing it until I realized with the whole situation with the registration that came up a couple of weeks ago, or you know, almost a couple of weeks ago now, the uh, that they were going to send that automatically. There was pretty much nothing I could do. They were going to send the new registration to the address listed on what's what currently is. And since I'm not changing the registration yet, I need to keep that because I don't have an address, another address to go by. So until I can actually get to South Dakota and take care of the whole driver's license issue. So, uh, I, I, I needed to, uh, I, I needed to take care of that. And I just totally lost where I was going. Jeez. Unfortunately, during, <laughs> unfortunately, the one thing I did a lot during the uh, the live stream with Anthony and uh, all those other people was the fa- was uh, was uh, I smoked a little bit, so I am a little bit high. Um, but yeah, so so yeah, I was I was having to deal with the registration stuff, and uh, like I said, it was gonna go. That's what it was. It was gonna go straight to my. It was gonna go straight to the house, the old house, no matter what I did. So I went into the post office last week and tried to put uh, said okay i need to put a hold on my mail can it count you know just can you keep stuff you know in my name here and i will come pick it up and then i finally had to go ahead and giving the forwarded you know forwarding address since i do have that new address set up and said fine because there are going to be things like this that i can't miss so 
I'm, I'm gonna and they're gonna automatically get sent there because some, some you know especially when it comes to government stuff changing it is going to be difficult since I don't actually live at that address anymore um, so it's just easier to go around it this way until I actually um, get the South Dakota stuff which unfortunately you know I said before is probably gonna have to wait till much farther after the Midwest Peace of Liberty Fest. I was hoping to do it before that, but not going to work. And this is all part of that because uh, I went to the post office today and, you know, there's also another package that I had already had delivered to the new address that was getting uh, forwarded here. And uh, so I went in to, to inquire about both the package that it's, w- was forwarded as of Monday. It had been forwarded in this forwarded from uh, South Dakota to here, uh, to here, and also the mail that they were supposed to be holding. Unfortunately, they decided to forward the mail a couple of days earlier than they told me they would. So they had absolutely none of my mail there. But they also couldn't tell me when the hold actually went into effect. They could tell me when I when I asked for the hold, especially because the gentleman who had helped me that day was there as I was speaking to the supervisor. And I was like, yeah, he's the one who told me all this. And he, you know, the guy just looked at me blankly like, well, yeah, that's what I told you. And he had nothing to do with the fact that it was forwarded early. Um, but yeah, they just decided to forward it a couple of days early. And, and like I said, they actually didn't know when the hold went into effect. So some of the things may have gone to my, uh, my old address and whatever else, most you know, most likely including the registrate, the new registration, in you know the New York registration, which I really didn't want, but had no choice to because the thing was running out, and I had to take care of it in order to be able to make sure I could get to South Dakota safely without being harassed by road pirates. So, all of that stuff, you know, that's most likely in the pile that got forwarded now to South Dakota. Now, because it got forwarded to South Dakota, it's going to take a few days to get there. And then once it gets there, I'm going to have to pay for whatever it is to be forwarded back to me. (laughs) So, you know, of course, this is completely the USPS's screw up, but I'm going to have to pay for it because, you know, they're they're you know, that there's nothing they're going to do about it. Um. And the only thing they could tell me about the package that was supposed to be there, because they were completely confused, um, because that actually came in uh, came to a different name, um, but it's one I use for certain purposes and have for a long time. And the USPS used to deliver it to my house under that name with no problem anyway, so I didn't really think it would be a problem when they had stuff forwarded to them. And obviously, the the your best address, which I've spoken about before, the company that I use your your best address dot com, the company I use for the mail forwarding service, and I'm also going to use for the what should we call it the uh, the driver's license and the uh, residency in South Dakota. Um, you know, they uh, they didn't do anything wrong here. They're just they're doing what they're supposed to do. But uh, they you know you pay for whatever you have shipped from them because the stuff gets, you know, people, people pay the postage, the postage gets paid, you know, in order to be mailed to you in the first place, but because it's getting mailed there, you now then have to pick and choose what you want sent to you and you have to pay to have that shipped to you. Uh, so I'm going to have to pay for that regardless. But again, they're not doing anything wrong. That's, that's their policy. And I, I agreed to that and they are, uh, you know, I, I don't have a problem with them. It's just the fact that the USPS screwed up. So now I'm going to have to wait for the registration to get there and then have it forwarded back to me and then pay for it. And unfortunately, the temporary one that they give you is only good for like 10 days. So that's going to expire before I actually get my hands on that. And there's no way of knowing if I'll actually get it, it, get it in my hands before um, we leave for the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest either. So, you know, of course, just government, uh, government, government ineptitude once again, getting in my way. Um, and whether it's malice or, um, or, or just happenstance, uh, either way, the result is the same. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that happened too. Um, so now tomorrow, not only do I have to spend time, um, not hanging out with the wife and kids, which of course I, you know, talked about a lot. I obviously wanted to do desperately. Well, mo- uh, mostly the kids while they were gone, cause I was really mad at the wife, but now, you know, things are better. So I do want to hang out with her too. Um, I'm going to have to spend time away from them in order to go to the court, um, to take care of the, the license stuff I had to take care of, which I've already discussed. Um, but now I'm also going to have to probably go to the DMV itself just to see if there's some, if, if I can get another temporary, uh, registration or something, or they can print. I, I think they can print one out there. It's been so long. I forget. Um, because otherwise, you know, I'm going to have to wait and it's just going to be a pain in the butt. And if I go there and they'll probably tell me that they're going to charge me for that too. So, 
<sighs> so yeah, I have to deal with both of those things now tomorrow because again, it's it's it, tomorrow will be Friday and we're getting we, you know we're less than a week away from when you know I, I like I said the other yesterday I, I want to be able to leave by uh, Wednesday uh, morning hopefully and, and start our journey just in case uh, we end up having to spend the night somewhere before we actually make it to Michigan. So there's not a lot of time because I also have to. Uh, go back out to the storage unit and take out a bunch of the camping gear for the entire family for us to go to the Midwest Peace Liberty Fest because I only packed my camping gear with me uh, so I, you know, had more room, obviously, uh, you know, for this journey right now. And I left everything else packed towards the front of the storage unit so I could just go there and open it up. And I think their policy is I have to give them 48 hours notice, so I'll probably have to spend Monday driving out there, which is a good 45-minute drive from where I am right now. Actually, not from where I am right now, where I where I normally hang out. I'm a little further east, so it's probably a little closer right now. But either way, yeah, probably about for 40, 45 minute ride out there, um, and back. And while I'm out there, there's something else a little further out that I may actually need to do too. So we'll see. But again, that's going to be another whole wasted day where I'm not going to get to hang out with the kids and the wife. And I mean, obviously, if we're all going to go to the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest together. We'll get to spend a bunch of time together, which is great because we'll actually get to like all sleep in the same place um, for four or five straight, you know, for four straight. Well, if we stay if we stay over someplace, five straight nights, which will be fantastic on, on you know, because uh, I haven't got to do that. But leading up to that, I'm going to have to miss even more time with them, which really sucks. Uh, and again, it's just stupid government BS that I have to hurdles and hoops, I, hurdles I have to jump over and or hoops I have to jump through. Uh, so, yeah. I uh, I can't believe I left those things out during the first go through. Like I said, I I realized that I I'd, I'd forgotten to do the fiend show. It's like, oh yeah, you actually had this happen today too. So yeah, it really was a busy day, folks. This was just, this all happened. You know, it's like I said, um, I started with the story from dinner yesterday. So this all happened. What was that? Like six six thirty ish. We got together maybe. So yeah, this all happened in a uh, now that I've been recording for a half an hour, uh, about yeah twenty seven hour period. No. 15 hour period what am i talking about or no yeah i'm okay 27 hour period yeah yeah it's been a lot <laughs> i can't even do maths right now <laughs> so anyway uh yeah that's uh that's what we've been up to and like i said uh you know getting in to hang out with the wife and kids and the fact that the wife and i are are, are, are playing nice again and uh everything will uh hopefully go back to normal <laughs> that uh you know th- that was huge obviously that's obviously the always the most important thing but close second to that was definitely meeting that uh that gentleman this morning and uh you know just literally just stumbling across somebody else who's doing the van nomadism type thing without ever ever hearing that term or whatever but somebody who's obviously well versed in all this because he's been studying all these other youtube channels and stuff for years and uh you know it was it, that was really cool and uh i'm definitely glad i made that connection i definitely didn't expect that i i expected this to happen once i started traveling westward because there's a couple of people including some of the people that have uh that uh regularly watch this vlog and comment on it um they uh you know we were hoping to meet up my obviously i know one of them i'm gonna, supposed to see at the midwest peace and liberty fest uh but other people i had also talked about meeting up with, with along the way so i expected it to happen then um but you know, I did not expect to stumble across somebody else doing it right here where I was um, in the in the little corner of Nassau County that I've I've kind of hung out in <laughs> since uh, since the house got sold. So that was that was just that was super cool. And like I said earlier, hopefully I will get him uh, get him to uh, sit down and record with me. And uh, you know that should be really interesting. And uh, you know, Shane, if you uh, if you end up watching this one, I'll also end up send. I'll try to send him your way too with the Vanu podcast, um, because yeah, really interesting. You know, living out of the back of a Jeep Cherokee for two years. You know, like I, I've talked about before, the other individual I just I referenced before. You know, living out of a Nissan X- Xterra for four. Um, so van nomadism isn't just for vanning anymore, but it, vans anymore, baby. Uh, <laughs> we're we're all living out of all sorts of little mini SUVs and pulling this stuff off. So it's def- that was definitely really cool, and I look forward to running into him again. And, uh, yeah, this is, uh, like I said, been a super busy day, super productive day. Frustrating, of course, with the, the government, all the government stuff, obviously, frustrating as heck. But everything else was positive. So we'll take that as a huge win. And as you could tell, I mean, yes, I mentioned I did smoke a little bit, but obviously I'm in a, a much better spirits than I have been the past couple of days. So this will hopefully 
you know, kickstart me into being a lot more productive. Of course, you know, I'm now under time crunch to get ready for the fest. And as I've always been somebody who's always pretty much worked themselves, worked under pressure on by their own design, because I have convinced myself that that's when I do my best work. And as I learned from talking to Anthony, Sa- the aforementioned Anthony Samaroff about his book, Procrastination Annihilation, uh, that's actually just a coping me- mechanism for procrastinators a lot of the time. So <laughs> trying to break the habit of that. Um, but, you know, don't really have a choice this time. Time's running out. So I'm definitely going to have to get a lot of stuff done. I'm going to miss out on a little bit of time with the girls and the wife, which is going to suck. But hopefully on the days that I can't do stuff, like the weekends where I probably can't take care of any of the stuff that I need to take care of, at least I'll hopefully get to spend a lot of a decent amount of time with them as long as the weather's good or, and or we can figure out something to do that's not going to cost a lot of money. Because, again, um, you know, not that I'm above spending money on my kids, but we are trying to uh, save as much as we possibly can. So we're trying to find ways to get creative and um, – Stay on the cheap, you know, just like I'm trying to do out here right now. And, uh, you know, splurging on things like ice cream today. <laughs> Not that much, but, you know, unfortunately we did, you know, we did the dinner thing last night and apparently, and they did dinner the night before uh, without me. So, yeah, it's been, uh, you know, it's, it's we're, we, we need to cut back a little bit. So, <laughs> so it may be weather dependent, but hopefully not. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's the plan. Going to be, continue to be busy. And, um, hopefully get everything done in time to be able to take off on, uh, sometime early Wednesday and, uh, you know, take the family out to Michigan, you know, for, like I said, you know, I've said a bunch of times, it'll be the second time for the girls, third time for murder dog and I first time for the wife. And, uh, actually the first time the wife will be meeting any of my, uh, and fam in person. So it should be interesting. <laughs> I saw that's true. Well, technically she knows a couple of them already, but anyway, um, yeah, ba- basically meeting any of these folks, uh, for the first time. So, yeah, it's, uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to that. And, uh, now, even though it's, uh, geez, I, this one's gone on a lot longer than I, I planned. Um, so, uh, I apologize for that folks, but you know, as I could, as you, like I said, as you could tell, I'm, a, I'm a little excited about things. So, uh, so I'm happy and I babble when I'm happy. Um, but anyway, uh, even though it's, it's already nine 30 and I, I g- g- want to go set up shop at some point, I'm going to, you know, I'm, I'm wired enough right now that, and fo- and more able to, uh, you know, able to focus a lot better, obviously, cause I'm in better spirits. So I am going to try to knock out more of the editing, uh, editing proofreading for, uh, my buddy Shane's book. Um, cause I did promise him I would get that done at least before the Midwest Beast Liberty Fest. So I definitely want to try to, uh, get that done and, uh, you know, maybe, uh, read some more myself and then, uh, we'll see if I run into my new friend in the morning. Um, and if, even if I don't, you know, hopefully I can get through my day of dealing with the government and, uh, finally get a lot of this stuff taken care of. And then I'll have a lot less to be worried about, uh, once I start traveling around a lot more. Cause you know, I'm 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 not usually concerned. I mean, like like any rational person, uh, I don't exactly feel uh, all warm and tingly if a cop is behind me, even if the lights aren't on, um, you know. But I don't really have to deal with too much BS as far as that because you know I I do the I de- you know I do the speed limit for the most part, um, or at least drive within within the limits of everybody else. And uh, you know I I don't I, I don't do really do anything to attract attention that way purposely, so I I don't have to deal with that stuff. Um, and I'm also not. I mean, I, I've driven back and forth a lot to, you know, the past couple of days, but I don't necessarily have to drive, you know, long. So the risk of being, you know, the risk is cut down. And plus I know the, where the, the cops hang out most for the most part and, uh, what, what's really a threat to that, you know, as far as dealing with them. So I can avoid that cause I know the area. Um, once I get on the road, I know it'll be a uh, little more uh, dangerous in that regard and just, you know. Because you never, you never know. You go through an area you've never been through before, and you don't notice the speed limit sign, and all of a sudden you're being harassed, um, you know, and, and extorted. Um, so yeah, I need to limit my, uh, my limit my exposure to that. So definitely got to take care of all this stuff. So not going to enjoy being away from the wife and kids again, but something that has to be done. So we'll see what we'll see what happens with that. Uh, hopefully, I am at least you know. I, I can't say I'll be just as uh, peppy tomorrow night if, when I'll probably get around to being able to do this. Uh, do the next vlog, but hopefully I'll have positive things to report and I'll at least be able to move on past that to the next step of getting us prepared to take off for Michigan next week. So with that, I will finally close it out. Murder Dog is still out cold in the back. She uh, woke up briefly during the live stream, but Murder Dog, are you tired? 
Yeah, I think she uh, had a fun day out. You know, like I said, even though she didn't play, she had a fun day out in the sun, just wandering around at the dog park for about an hour or so, and it, it wiped her out. So we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna close this out, and then uh, probably gonna go wake her up and go take her out to go to the bathroom really quick, <laughs> and then we'll go, uh, we'll be on our merry way. But I will check in with you folks tomorrow. So thank you everybody for watching, and again, thank you for your continued support, comments, whatnot. Um, and as I've mentioned before, if you feel like, uh, supporting it any other way, there are a myriad of ways that you could also donate, um, to, to the cause. Um, those are always in the show notes. And also, of course, you know, if you're on steam it, please, please, please consider upvoting and also, you know, and re-steaming all of these vlogs because that, those little, that little bit helps me out. So, all right, everybody, once again, thanks again. It's been Abolish Digital Day. Catch you tomorrow. Peace, y'all.